I've been on the receiving end from some of you. I've gotten quite a few uh, voicemails, emails, and actual letters to my home um, from longtime church attenders who are leaving or who are telling me they're leaving our churches because of our decision to suspend services for the remainder of the year. And Um, whenever I get a voicemail or an email like that or a letter, I always um, ask my assistant, Diane, to track down a phone number. And I call almost all of the people who have responded, especially those of you who've been involved for a long time and raised your kids here and served here. I've called just about everybody that I can find the number for, and I listen. And in 100% of the cases, this is so interesting, and some of you are actually listening today or watching today, I hope. In 100% of the cases, once I call, and convince them that it's actually me, they begin the conversation by telling me how much the church has meant to them and how much it's meant to their children. That one gentleman, when I finally convinced him it's really me, he immediately went into this amazing story, and these are his words, not mine, about how I saved his marriage. But now that I have bowed my knee to Caesar, um, since I refuse to take a stand, um, since I'm more concerned about being popular than calling people to repentance, they're out. Um, after uh, the message I did called This Human Race, you'll remember that, um, same thing. Andy, um, clearly you have embraced a left-wing Marxist agenda so we can no longer call this our church home. And so to all of these, in all of these conversations, I respond with, okay, so let me get this straight. Um, you've loved and served in and supported our church for, in many cases, eight, nine years. And after one sermon, come on, after one sermon that you disagree with or took to mean something that based on our church history, I clearly did not mean you're out. Now, the good thing is this, these conversations always end on a friendly note. And then I add, well, I guess this is a good time to leave our church, but it is a bit hard to leave a church that isn't meeting anyway. We chuckle and then we hang up and I hope they don't actually leave because I don't want anybody to leave our church.